you were that little kid that loved taking bubble baths, you are going to flip out when you see the foam party in the fortress. One thing you have to remember is it's not always about the actual club. A lot of times the big action is going on at huge dance parties that take hundreds, even thousands of partiers and put them in the weirdest places, like a medieval fortress. So, DJ Vlad, yeah. tell me, yeah. where are we right now? Oh dear, I mean, we're coming into an unpronounceable area now. You know, this is the, the town of Smederevo in American Smederevo. English way, but it actually is Smederevo. Smederevo. That's it. That's there we the go. One. Yeah, yeah, I like your rolling arms. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, very good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is the unsung hero of fortresses. Oh, this yeah. is one of the one of a kind in a European flat ground type of fortresses. Yeah. And this one is from uh, 13th century, wow. as a matter of fact. You gotta love it, man. The fortress actually was the capital of Serbia way, way, way back in the day. Now it's a city park, which is the perfect place to hold thousands of party and freaks like you see right here. And after things get built up to a good high pitch fever, then that's when they dump all the foam on you. Tonight they have a little bit of a foam party. Yes. Is that unique to Serbia or is that just kind of a thing to get people to come out and have kids rock their socks off? I think it's uh, not unique to Serbia. Yeah. Foam is just an uh, international language for let's have a party, man. All right. I never thought I'd say this, but I am in a Swedish sandwich. <laughs> yeah, that's a real delicacy in some parts. And that's exactly what Evan finds when he comes back to Belgrade now, along with Christina for some more partying on the River Splav. This time, the spot is called Club Sound. Not only do they book world-class DJs, but they also have live bands. It's been going strong ever since the opening in 1996, and for Evan, it's turning into a spot to get some play with some of the ladies. And next year, I swear, Evan, you're gonna be here in the booth, and I'm gonna get to go out on the road. All night, you guys are telling me that I look like someone. Who who do I look like? Monster my love! Yeah! Night, whatever that means. Was that a compliment? <laughs> Who is Monfemelev? He, he was you in the idol. Um, oh, so yeah. I'm, an Amer yeah. I'm a Swedish idol. A Swedish yeah. idol, yeah. Should I sing a song for you guys? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, it might lose something in translation there, but in any event, these girls say Belgrade, and they're from Sweden, is the perfect party escape from their lives back home. And you can drink when you're under 18 ah. here and not in Sweden. It's, uh, it's Sweden. really cheap and ah. the clubs is amazing. In Sweden it's like the boring. And Sweden is lame. Yes. Yeah, oh, really lame. hey, no. It's all good in Belgrade and matter of fact, in any country you party in, in Europe, there's no doubt about it. But wait, wait a minute, what, whatever happened to Christina? Evan can't ignore the lady he came in with. Only now it's time to say, Good night. You showed me that this place is unbelievable. I'm glad that I could help you. <laughs> it was you, it was the parting on the water, it was the it was the rakia. Well, cheers and thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah.